See, they're in a rush. Yo, what's up with me, y'all? We back. And today, today is the big day, man. So I just, we just got news uh, that her water broke. I'm so excited. So this morning, it was like at 4.40 something. She said her water broke. Um, she said it was just a little puddle, though. So, you know, she didn't for sure know. But it was like at 4 or something. I was asleep. I was still in the bed. And then she woke me up at around, what, babe? Like 5 something? Whatever time it was just really early and it's still early currently it's 7 30 a.m and then the doctor we got here at the hospital around maybe like seven um they just did a test they confirmed her water broke so that's good news my baby boy is on the way and yeah man today's a big day right now all right go ahead you got anything to say yeah so i'm connected to the monitor and she's about to put my IV in and they're just uh, checking my contractions. So yeah. You see, I don't know if you right can now, see, but so. you see this little heartbeat going. Show them your sensors I'm real not quick. To talk. Yeah, she's in pain right now. These. But yeah. These are these are on. Can you believe it? So he's coming. I mean, shit, it's been nine months. <laughs> you all right? No, I'm not okay. <laughs> don't keep asking that. It's not funny. Yeah, I'm not going to. You know how a woman be. I don't, I'm not even going to mess with that. But, hey, today's the big day. I'm going to try to catch as much footage as I can. And we've been through this before, but this is our first time actually vlogging the birth, which we're really excited this about. But I'm going to stay tuned. We'll get back with you. She got that big ass need on you again. Yeah. I know I'm a... I already know what you're about to say, but how does it feel? <laughs> I don't like the IVs. I don't like seeing you like this, babe. It hurts me inside. <laughs> She's crazy, man. Like, it's he's coming. He really is. Another one. It's crazy, y'all. Uh, like, I'm just saying, he's coming no matter what today. Your water broke. He's coming. He's coming. Alright guys, we made it. We are in the room. I just need to put her in a bed. Here's my bed. Remember last time this shit was just uncomfortable. So look at it like. The pad looks more better though than the last hospital. But anyways, we're in the room. Again, man, I'm so excited. I have no words right now. I'm just ready for this man to come out. I'm ready to see him. Oh and I ain't eat nothing all day. I got some food on the way too. Oh my. Unfortunately, Carly can't eat nothing but water chips. Yeah, I, mean, I don't need nothing right now. But, um, what else does I have to say? Yeah, man. Um, but for this delivery, we got a midwife, which we're really happy about that too. Wait, wait, because it's coming. It's coming? Here, I can lean back. Do you need me to lean yeah, back? Yeah, lean back. Okay, okay. Just a little. Wait, no, wait. No, okay, oh. okay. Okay. Hey, not this. Hey, yeah, you gotta get it. It's okay. Let me get the heartbeat. You can't keep taking 70 clips. I just get All right, y'all, I'm really exhausted right now. I'm having contractions. They're getting to like a four. I'm really tired. This IV, y'all, this IV is really, bro. I really do not like IVs at all. I'm really, no, it's really bothering me. Hello? But my contractions been on and off. I'm feeling a little bit extra exhausted. I think I'm about to put some makeup on. Just a little bit more because I want to just feel more refreshed. I feel exhausted. Man, 
You hard again? A little bit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's coming. Oh, dog, let me back up. <laughs> Alright, that'd be... And finishing results. Are you done? Yeah. Alright. It's coming again. Yes. Okay. Now you did your makeup quick. I just put a foundation. Uh, let me see. Show them. <laughs> Wait. Oh. No. Alright, okay, let's go. Wash Come, my hands. Come on. Alright y'all, so I am currently four centimeters dilated. I've been having like some diarrhea and the nurse said that that's a good thing. So that's really good. She said no. She said no. I like it. Yeah, she, she's great. Oh. But yeah, so I just put a little bit of makeup on. Uh, four centimeters dilated. I think 80% effaced. Negative two, but that was a little bit ago. So I probably have some more progress. That has already happened, especially since I had some diarrhea, which is really awkward. Cause, but I just want to let y'all know because once the nurse, the nurse has said, once that's going, you know your body's moving a little bit quicker. So so should be going. Just waiting for the doctor to come on in. And yeah, this Ivy is really bothering me a lot really bothering me but yeah i would definitely recommend standing up during contractions as well it's just more easier for me that's just my opinion but the same he's talking in the background to cairo but yeah i can't stay in this bed we're gonna see how this goes really waiting for the doctor to come but hey like we said me and carly are exhausted well I have no excuse. Carly's exhausted. But we woke up really early. We're about to lay it down. You see we got the dimming lights going on. So you already know what time it is. I gotta lay it down on the you know, yeah, I can see it. On the on the damn slave cot. <laughs> but take a little nap and basically we just on we just wait until her our mid her midwife comes. Alright, it's super dark in here because I don't like when it's bright. It just irritates me. But my contractions are coming a little bit closer and I can barely sit in the bed. It's really bothering me a lot. And I'm not with that pain shit. So once it starts getting a little bit worse, I'm probably going to get an epidural because I don't... I'm not with that. That's just not me. But... It's definitely hurting a lot. Definitely hurting a lot. I'm in a lot of pain. Sammy's over here. I don't know if y'all can see. He's somewhere <laughs> over there sleeping. They have me on the portable uh, monitor for the baby because I just can't really stay in the bed. It's just the contractions are so intense that I need to stand up. But the doctor should be coming in. It's almost 12. I've been up since 4.30, y'all. 4.30. And 4.30. So I'm really exhausted. I only got like two hours of sleep. But yeah, the doctor's going to be coming in at 12. <sighs> but yeah, so we're making progress. I'm going to see what's going to be the next step. What's up, man? I'm back. Yes, it's really quiet in the room. It's just me right now. So I got some, you know, sad news, but you know, at the end of the day, everything will be all right. <sighs> so I was sleeping. She was just screaming crazy loud. She she uh, finished breaking her water. Then right after that, everything literally took like, sorry to doctor interrupting me, but, um, She's not here right now. She had to have immediate C-section because the baby's 
heart rate it was just dropping in and out in and out and it kept going more to the you know lower side of this heart rate um what else i was about to say she was pushing i say for like a good maybe two hours you know here and there with the contractions so you know they took her right in and on top of that you know the baby's heart rate was dropping how i feel right now i mean we wanted a natural <coughs> you know birth but you know unfortunately everything doesn't you know work out how you planned and things you know, take a little different way but um, since they're putting her to sleep right away, it's a procedure that's really quick, so it won't allow me to be in the room. So basically, when she comes back, or they let me know, basically the baby's going to be there. Um, but also, yeah, man, um, everything's been going good. I'm ready for this baby to come, which is going to be here any minute. Going back to again, unfortunately, she had to have another C-section, but everything's okay. You know, everything's good. Everything's good. Um, I pray that, you know, my baby is safe and my beautiful Carly, Carlisa, is okay. Oh, yeah, another thing I forgot to say, too. Um, yes, unfortunately, I will not be able to cut the cord, too, which I'm, you know, really bummed about. But it's all right, man. It's okay. You know, at the end of the day, my baby's coming here. Carly's going to be all right. But... I said how I'm just feeling is just neutral. It's just, it just be crazy, man. Cause like, obviously, you know, we see, well, for the guys who are in relationships, we used to see our other in a, you know, really pain, pain. You know, hey, God bless these women out here. I don't know how they do it, but it's just a blessing, man. And it's just crazy what things they go through just to have our baby. Or our child, whatever you want to say, it's just it's crazy, man. But just again, how I just want to tell y'all, you know, I'm stumbling my words and shit. Damn, I'm just thinking so much right now. <coughs> um, just back again on how I feel again. It's just I'm waiting. All I can do is wait. Literally, I'm just in the room. You see, they're in a rush. It, literally, everything happened in like. Bro, like after that hour of pushing, everything was like, hey, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. They were like, go, go, go. And everything, they like, just imagine, like, I was I was dead asleep. Remember, I told you, I woke up really early. Well, plus Carly, she woke up really early. She broke her water a little bit, like 4 45 in the morning. We just, she just been up ever since, and I've been up ever since. She woke me up at like 6. So, like, I just, I was laying right here. I was knocked out. Knock, knock, knock that out. And then she just, I heard that one really loud scream. She said, ah, you know how I be. Um, and then right from there, everything just happened so fast. So I just woke up. Every, I'm like, yo, go. Like, everything is on go mode. Go, go, go. But she's back there in the room now. I got blessed. She's having a C-section. Now, man, the worst part is this waiting part. Man. Just waiting and don't know what's going on. Hi, right, man. Good news. Baby's here. My baby boy's here. And I uh, just got done talking with to the midwife. Uh, she said everything went great. Carly's sleeping, you know, they put her to sleep. Um, I said when she, when they wake her, you know, up and when she comes, you know, fully awake, they're gonna grab me and I can see my child and my love. Good news, man, I'm excited, man. It's, it's crazy, it's just crazy, crazy. I said, I'm just lost for words. I don't even know what to say right now. My second baby boy. So he is here and he is be 
beautiful. He needs a little bit of cleanup, but he's fresh out. Really fresh out, but crazy, man. My heart, y'all, is just going crazy, man. My baby boy is here. Huh. Yeah, we've been waiting for a long time for you. But uh, he's here. Um, Carly, I think, is still, you know, passed out when they put her to sleep. Um, I get to have him for a little bit. It's just me and daddy and son time. And, but he's here, y'all, and everything's good. Crazy, man. That nose is, that's crazy, man. Let me tell you how you know it's my son. Hey, so I'm here with Carlisa and the baby. The crazy tired, babe. Tell me how you feeling right now. I'm in a lot of pain. I can't really talk because they had put me to sleep. It's breastfeeding right now, so the baby is breathing. The baby, he's eating right now. Really healthy. Yeah, he's healthy. Everything's going good. He ended up. Um, Y'all can't even open up my eyes. He's like, he weighs seven. I was 14 ounces. Better than our first son, Cairo. Yeah, Cairo was seven pounds, 6.3 ounces. But yeah, y'all, yeah, I'm really like out of it. I'm really out of it. Like, I can't even. But yeah, so I'm in a recovery. Is this recovery? Mm hmm. You said it. This is a recovery room after I had my um, surgery. I'll tell y'all a little bit more about that when we get into the room. Um, nothing, again, didn't go as planned. Which is so, okay. But it's all right as long as, you know, he's here and healthy and myself. But I don't think we're having any more. <laughs> I'm not about to have. I said, no, I'm, I'm okay. I'm good. Just seeing her going through the pain and the C-section, you know, unfortunately, but... I said we're good. It wasn't just like, <clears throat> like I need some water. I'm not gonna get another C-section for a third time because I'm not gonna be able to go natural with him. I was going 100% raw and natural. It was real crazy. It's gonna be a long, a, a nice story to tell how everything happened. But we're gonna be. We're gonna be uh, in here for a little bit longer and then we're gonna go back into the room. Everything happened so fast. It did, it really did. Just like I the last him, one. I told him it was crazy. Way fast, so. I think it was, yeah, way quicker than the Cairo. We couldn't really get too much, but remember, y'all, I've been up since 4 I told him. <laughs> I'm really tired. My mouth is dry. He looks just like. Cairo just a tad bit different. Here's some of his baby prints. <laughs> really cute. Oh, that's you. You need some what? Back with the baby. You got anything else to say, baby? Alright y'all, so the baby is asleep right now. Um, I'm still in a lot of pain. I'm still in a lot of pain. I haven't ate anything at all. And what time is it? Like almost 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock at night. Um, in the morning, I'm going to explain a little bit. I'm probably going to explain a little bit about the birth picture in the morning. Um, it's been a very exhausting day. I've just been eating ice chips and I haven't even got out this bed all day. So I've been here as well. 